Hey friends, welcome back for part two in our Hand Care Tip Monday series. So this is timely as of this taping. We just did our annual Memorial Day Murph this morning. So it's humid, it's Florida, it's springtime. Even if you did all of the hand care uh, tips that we outlined in part one, you might have torn them anyways. And these things happen, but here's how to get back in the game faster, get these things healed up. Um, first off, if you tear your, your hands in a workout, you need to stop doing that movement as quickly as possible because the damage is only gonna get worse with every single rep. Not to mention that that equipment needs to be cleaned off because it's a gym. Other people are gonna wanna pick up that barbell or jump on that pull-up bar. Uh, holler at your coach so that they can help you with that or at least keep people away from that equipment until it is no longer a biohazard, all right? So if you really are intent on finishing the rest of your workout, you need to uh, completely swap out for movements where you're not grabbing stuff and making the damage worse, all right? First things first, gotta wash those puppies out, all right? It is gonna suck. I'm not gonna mince words on this. It's gonna suck. Get in there with some antibacterial soap, um, dump some hydrogen peroxide and alcohol in it. Um, if you are a little bit more on the sensitive side, no judgment there, I would use a saline wound wash or Neosporin makes a foaming one that's n um, not stinging. So that's kind of nice if, if that's something you wanna keep it in your bag. Um, I highly suggest it. It's The foaming one is in a little tube. It's easy to use on the go if you're in a huge rush um, and at least it's sanitizing your hands, all right? Now, if you have a chunk of skin hanging over that bad boy, I personally shove it back on there until I get home. So at least I have a little bit of protection because it's really difficult to get band-aids, uh, tape and everything. You can do that, but it's gonna be difficult to keep it on and in place if you're going about your day. It'll get you home, so that I would suggest that. Um, when I get home, personally, the first thing I do after I trim off that excess skin is I put on a little bit of this, and this is New Skin Liquid Bandage. It stings like a mother to put on, so you have been warned. Uh, you can swear using my name, that's fine, but you will thank me because you will be able to wash your hands, um, go about your day, and it won't suck every time you bump into that wound, all right? Because you don't need to be going about your day with a gaping, uncovered wound. That's just gross, all right? So this will save you from that because Band-Aids will not stick, all right? Um, and of course, when you're at the gym, you've, you've had this tear and everything, make sure that your equipment gets cleaned up because that's just gross if the next person's coming up and trying to use the equipment and it's still um, got your liquids on it, all right? So make sure that happens. Um, and guys, sometimes this stuff just happens. Be smart about it. Keep on those hand care tips and it's going to make sure that this doesn't happen quite as often. So hopefully that helps you heal up a little bit faster and get right back into training.